Hi, welcome to Physical Science 3.3a. Today we're going to be talking about potential and kinetic energy, charts, graphs, equations, and we'll do calculations next time. So what is energy? Well, the definition of energy is the capacity for doing work or producing heat. Conservation of energy is that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form into another. We'll look at two types of energy today, and actually it's just one type in two parts. The type that we're going to look at is mechanical energy, and we're going to look at mechanical potential and mechanical kinetic. So potential energy is EG. That's its abbreviation. Sometimes you'll see it as PE as well, but we're going to stick with the EG. Energy associated with an object's height above its normal position. That's the definition of potential energy. Energy associated with the object's height. So when the pendulum is raised from position D, which is straight down, to position C, it has gained potential energy because I did work on it. When it's raised all the way up to position A, its highest point that I could reach anyway, all of the energy it has is potential energy. Now let's look at the EK. EK is energy associated with an object's motion, and it depends on the mass and the velocity. When the pendulum moves from position A to B to C, it gains kinetic energy because it's gaining speed. When it reaches D, it is moving that it, at its fastest, and it has all kinetic energy because it is down at its lowest position. So energy charts. Pie charts are a really good way to view the amounts of energy because they represent absolutely all the energy that there is. So position A is all EG potential energy, right? Because it's at its highest point and it's not moving. D is all kinetic energy because it's at its lowest point and it's moving at its fastest speed. So the pie chart for A would look like this, EG, and the pie chart for D would look like this, EK. And yes, the circles are supposed to be the same. So in this pendulum example, as it swings to its lowest point, it is moving its fastest and all the energy is converted into EK. That means it's going to change from EG to EK. So at points B and C, it's going to be a mix of EG and EK because it's gaining speed, more EK, and losing height, less EG. So B might look like this and C might look like that, where the EK is getting bigger and the EG is getting smaller. Although pie charts are really good, most of the time we'll end up using a bar graph as if all the energy could be represented by four blocks on a graph. So position A would be all EG. Position B, we might say, is three EG and one EK. Position C would be one EG and three EK. And position D would be all EK. Finally, let's look at the equations. A ball is bounced. So we want to look at the pie chart, the bar graph, and then finally what the equation looks like. So here's a picture of what we've got. A is just after it leaves the ground. It's going to be going its fastest. B is halfway up. C is all the way at the top of its path. D is halfway down. And E is just before it hits the ground. So the pie chart for A would be EK. B would be half and half, C would be all EG, D would be half and half, and E would be all EK again. The bar graphs are similar, 4 EK for A, 2 and 2 for B, all EG for C, 2 and 2 for D, and all EK again for position E. Now, the equation is not something you're going to solve. It's literally just something you write. And all it is is the position and what type of energy you have. Because if all of the energy 
is at A and all of the energy is at B and all of it is at C and D and E, that means they all have to equal each other. Each position has to equal each other. So let's look at this equation. The equation would be read the EK at A is equal to the EK at B plus the EG at B because 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 is equal to the EG at C which is equal to the EK at D plus the EG at D which is equal to the EK at E. Essentially you're saying 4 is equal to 2 plus 2 which equals 4 which equals 2 plus 2 which equals 4. We'll do a lot more problems in class together. Thanks for watching.